down the hammer and pick up the pencil. You're about to listen to the Savvy Radio Show. Learn from real life real estate investors, experience revealed with the Savvy Landlord as your host. All right, Savvy Investors out there, this is your friend on the airwave, Steve Van Kellenberg, the Savvy Landlord. First of all, I want to give a shout out to all the people that have encouraged me, emailed me, Facebook me, and said that certain things have impacted you. And one of those things is the side hustle. Yes, the side hustle. The goal is for you to make as much as you can, not to be lavish, but to buy assets so you can do more. What do you mean by do more? Yeah, on TV it looks glamorous, but you can do more with money. Money makes the world go round, and it's almost, as Zig Ziglar would say, it's close to oxygen. That's money. So let's break this down real fast. Number one paint curbs. Now, this is pretty elementary, not too difficult, but it's real popular in certain suburban neighborhoods, and especially in Oklahoma City, where there's like OU, OSU, and the thunder. Knock on someone's door or go get a make a, a bandit sign. I paint, you know, curbs for, for a fee. I don't even know what it costs or how much to charge, but I'm assuming you can just Go online, Google it up, find a place, go on Craigslist. Now, it's the middle of the winter. This may not be the ideal time to go curb to curb, but go door to door, knock on a make flyers, paint someone's curb. It takes you three minutes and, a, and one-tenth or, or nothing of a spray can. So do that. Number two, sell pocket knives. Now, if you're a boy, <laughs> this is pretty simple, but you can get uh, import from China. You can go to Wish.com or you can go to Alibaba or AliExpress. You can get a case of knives, all sorts of knives for under 20 bucks delivered to your door. And you could sell those bad boys for $5 a piece. You know, if you get 20 of those, that's a hundred dollars on a $20 investment. So you figure you buy it for a dollar, sell it for $5. Now this is a boy thing, but Hey, you can roll out to uh, an event said, Hey, you know, I'm selling pocket knife. You just, first of all, it'll teach you how to engage with people. It's not easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. Buying houses seems easy. It's on TV, HTTV, something like that. It's not easy. It's not easy to get funding. It's not easy to push yourself. It's not easy to wake up before everybody else, but you got to do it. Number three, host an event. This is one of the things that was super duper for me uh, as a young college person. I was a DJ and the fraternity would rent out a, not my fraternity, some other fraternity was savvy. They would rent out a roller rink and charge $3 a head and they'd have two, 300 people in there. That's a thousand, 600. That's almost a thousand dollars. And of course I went around them and find out how much it costs because they were only paying me nothing but $50. And it cost me so much to rent the equipment. And I, I called the the roller rink guy myself and I said, Hey, how much is, how much y'all charge to rent the place? $200. Boom, I went out and did my own event, and that's how I got into being a promoter. So host an event. You can do a goals class, teach a class, host an event. Figure it out. Do a a wine tasting class. Get together with a wine distributor. They need to get their wine out. You're in California. It's pretty common. Get it going. Figure it out. Host an event. Charge $3, $5, $25. Figure it out and get it done. Number four. Clean gutters, clean storm shelters, do Christmas lights, little itty bitty specific labor that you can do uh, pretty relatively simple. Now, I I saw some bandit signs out in May. It's real nutty out here with storm 2000 tornadoes, but it, it crossed my mind when I saw a bandit sign this last may that said hey i'll clean your storm shelter i was like well why why is that a big deal i talked to my homie and he's like oh there's spiders down there leaves is dirty i was like you know i haven't been in my storm shelter in like four years it makes sense would i pay somebody fifty dollars twenty five dollars hour of labor to clean out a, a little six foot by four foot space man cleaning gutters you can go buy a device that hooks up to a hose and just blow it out Simple. Christmas lights, simple. Make money now to buy assets. Number five, rent out your car. All right, if you're not pretty simple, I used to do this back in the day. Now, this is straight ghetto. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but there's a lot of the tote you know uh, dealerships in town. Well, with 500, 1,000, or just signature, you can get a car for $300 every two weeks or 
you know, six, man, I was so just crazy. I put $500 down. I just saved $500, went to the to no place. Back then, I didn't care about my social. I didn't care about what was going on. I don't know if they report. I don't know anything about this, but rent your car out. That's the motive. That's what I did back in the day. I went out there, put $500 down, got a Nissan little ghetto pickup, and I was renting it to this dude for $150 a week. I think my payment was $150 every two weeks. So you do the math. That's three six hundred. It was costing me three hundred. I was making three hundred dollars a month, and I didn't even have to do anything. Now the course was liability, insurance, and all kinds of stuff. But you can check out this website called Duro D U R O, and it's like Airbnb for cars. Or there's Relay Ride. I may have mentioned that before. All right, number six. Write to Congress. Yep, write to Congress. People get paid to write to Congress. Did you know that? No, you didn't. That's why you listened to the side hustle. Because I just Googled it up, and you can Google it up too. Ways to make money. And that's how I did it. Not me, but that's how I found how to write to Congress. And it's so true. I pay people to write yellow letters. Why can't someone political, uh, a person in downtown that is trying to get lobby for a law? I wouldn't say for tobacco people. I wouldn't do that per se or for or for some other whacked out thing. But still, you can get paid to write letters for the for Congress. And if you're passionate about writing, work on your skill. It's a great side hustle. All right. Number seven, sell space on your car. Now, just think of the taxis in Las Vegas. They got signs all over the car, on the hood, on the back of the hood, on the front of the hood. Listen, get wild. Get magnetic signs. Say, hey, talk to a real estate investor. Say, I'll put your I buy houses on the side of your, it should be your sign, but I ain't going to say nothing right now. But on, on the back of my car, on the side of my car, I'll, I'll put you on there or go big time and say, hey, hopefully uh, you can get that thing wrapped for another company. I know a gal uh, in I think it's Clarksville. Yeah, that's it. Clarksville, April. What up, girl? Our, our, uh, Clarksville, Tennessee. Her truck is wrapped, and she says she gets tons of calls off that. Would I pay two Gs to somebody to wrap their car? Possible. Hit me up. Message me. If this worked for you, if this encouraged you to get off the couch and stop being lazy, you can pick up a pencil. You can write. Pick up the pencil. Put down the, the hammer. Now, pick up the pencil and write to Congress. Get on Craigslist. Be a task rabbit. Do something. Be a VA, a virtual assistant. Make money. Now, after you make all this money, oh, that sounds good, Van Calberg. You know, you, you know, I, 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 you got me juicy. That's the whole goal. But here's the key point, Jim Rohn International. Here we go. It's what you do with what you make that truly matters. So you can be a millionaire and throw it all away, but you got to continue to buy assets. Keep reinvesting in yourself. That's what you're doing by listening to this podcast. But ultimately, what you do with what you make matters. So don't go buy some stuff that has depreciation. Only go buy assets. Thanks for listening to the Savvy Radio Show. Glide online and listen to our other motivating episodes at SavvyRadioShow.com. Connect on Twitter at LandlordBook and always be buying assets.